Imagine that you are standing on the roof of 20,000 swimming pools filled with warm water. That's what we got here. Enough energy to charge one and a half million Tesla batteries. This underground reservoir was created by the mine workers like my grandfather who were digging out coal up to 1000 meter under our feet. And the deeper you go, this water gets heated by geothermal energy. Down to 1000 meters we find 30 degrees Celsius and in the top layers we have 16 degrees Celsius. We can use this water to heat and cool buildings in this city. In the Netherlands we only have 11 coal mines. But all over Europe we have mines which are shutting down. Those mines need aftercare. They form an eternal burden. And by this development we give a new perspective for those areas. An economic perspective, employment, but most important a huge carbon saving of 65 until 100% for buildings. In my city actually we are operating a system serving 250,000 square meters of buildings with heating and cooling. In those buildings we replace gas boilers and chillers. We are planning now to expand the system to 20 million square meters of building covering the whole region. This will give us a carbon saving between 65 and 100 percent. So we are operating this mine system already for 10 years but we only knew a very few projects all over the world where they do more or less the same thing. The most innovative part is that we build the business model on this mine water system. We do this by what we call a fifth generation district heating and cooling system. It's a twin pipe system with one warm pipe 30 degrees Celsius and a cold pipe of 16 degrees Celsius. If we need heating in a building we take heat from the hot pipe and bring back cold to the cold pipe. Those two pipes exchange energy and this exchange of energy is a huge saving in the city. It will save us more than 50%. By smart framework control we balance those clusters of buildings, exchanging heat and cold. But moreover, we also are able to operate on the stock market to purchase cheap electricity when it's available. And at last but not at least, we can manage our peak loads, which give us a huge advantage in building the infrastructure and uh, reducing uh, the investments that we need to build the system. In fact, the further development of this fifth generation district heating and cooling systems, giving us a cloud of heat pumps in cities, is not longer dependent on mine reservoirs only. A Dutch study showed that we can do more than half of our buildings with this heating concept and cooling concept. As such, 75% of people in Europe could profit from comfortable heat and pleasantly cool energy with a huge carbon saving.